There's so many ineffective ways to crush a can that I don't really know what to do. Because I do have a lot of aluminium cans or... Uh, hmm, I should probably say aluminium cans. Either way, I have a lot of them and I need to find a good way to make them take up less space. And I've been looking around YouTube and um, there's a lot of solutions out there. And if I were to copy one of those, that wouldn't really be on brand with what I do on this channel. So uh, I'm gonna make my own. So if you're from a place that's pretty much like the rest of Europe, where you can actually recycle your old aluminum cans and get some cash for it, I probably need to explain why I'm doing this. So like everybody else in Norway, we usually go to Sweden when we want to do a big food haul and uh, buy drinks and, and soft drinks and not soft drinks. So what you end up with is a bunch of cans that you need to bring back to Sweden in order to get that money from it. And I always wanted to do like a like a metal foundry, 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 foundry. So I can melt down cans and maybe cast something with it because that would be pretty cool. Yeah. And as always, my design process is kind of, let's call it organic. So I'm just going to set the camera up. I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to be using this old miter saw for the motor. And, uh, and I got this second hand Chinese kind of voltage regulators to, to kind of hopefully set it at a pace that doesn't crush my fingers instead. So let's do an 80s montage because that's probably the only way I'm going to be able to finish this on time. So uh, here goes. The whole thing is very organic, as I promised. So now it's time to test it. I'm a bit excited, I think it's gonna work. I'm not sure how smooth it's gonna be, but for being made out of junk, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I don't know, let's give it a go. Okay, so I just need to lift this up. Just gonna turn the dial and uh, hopefully it's gonna crush the can. So let's see. Well, the can got crushed, so I guess that's a success, but 
Just to be sure, let's try another can, a bit taller can this time. Let's see if I can get it to run a bit smoother this time. Hmm. So at least I managed to crush two whole cans with my machine. I think I need to revisit the design a little bit and I probably need to make a mark too. It was fun though.